This episode of NGS Headline is brought to you by Hooters VPN. Stick around to the end of the headline to learn more about the service and the exclusive limited time collaboration event. Welcome back, everybody, to NGS Headline. Welcome back, everyone, to NGS Headline. I'm the host of the show, Hiro Arai, the official NGS navigator. Once again, I bring you the latest on NGS. If you're wondering about my different voice on the English stream, it's because we've changed the dub. Starting from this headline, Leonardo DiCaprio will do the voice of Hiro Arai in English. Using a text to speech website, he's not actually voicing me, but he is definitely the one typing the script. Western gamers love celebrity culture, so we're considering having other celebrities type lines in a text to speech program to voice characters such as Aina and Mono. Please tweet and share the hashtag DiCaprioNGS to show your support. Today is April 30, the day of the ultimate lust. And we're here to deliver. We've heard numerous comments since the launch of NGS, especially from the Western players, about the excessive amount of AC scratch tickets we release, and we're here to admit to this mistake. We failed to inform you that Sega has a 99 to 1 gotcha to gameplay content ratio. For every 99 scratches done, we're allowed to release one new gameplay content. So, how do we increase gameplay content? Thankfully, Sega's developed for us a secret weapon, the Time Fault. The Dimensional Time Fault, or simply the Time Fault, is a phenomenon that occurred on Earth after the use of the Sega Enterprise's Cosmo Reverse System. By sending a legion of employees there, we can make 99 scratch tickets in a single month. It's allowing us to release tons of gameplay content on a monthly basis now. We've effectively solved MMO content drought. So please share the hashtag NGS Time Fault to show our dominance over the MMO genre. Due to the time fault, we cannot showcase AC scratch tickets on the headline anymore. Therefore, most of the hot information is gameplay content only. Anyway, it's more fun to discover what kinds of clothing get released on your own. All right, let's get on with the show with this first segment. NGS Hot Information this massive update is all about quests. We're changing the focus of NGS from battle areas to questing with friends. But please, have a look at this video. So, how's it looking? Are you satisfied with what you're seeing? After almost an entire year without any actual gameplay structure, the quest counter makes a great entrance, and defines the gameplay loop for casual and hardcore players. 
Taking inspiration from our roots in PSO's Hunter Guild, we bring you a selection of randomly generated, randomly selectable quests with unique NPCs and players alike offering compensation for your job as an ARC's defender, defending others. I don't know what all this is, someone on Bunt is going to write the summary anyway. Next slide. While playing quests submitted by others will give you a small sampling of rewards, creating a quest for others to play will net you much more exclusive rewards, especially in regards to some of the new untradeable items introduced. There are several settings you can add on top of quest modifiers, such as the boss or quest types, location, and the personality of your NPC self. Each quest has a rarity setting that increase the general difficulty of the quest. However, the harder and higher rarity the quest is, the more expensive it'll be to put it up, but the rewards will be worth it. You can generate as many quests as possible provided the total rarity cost of all your currently incomplete quests do not surpass a certain amount at any given time, so you're encouraged to make both easy and hard quests. If an hour passes without the quest being completed, the quest is retired and the cost in items is fully refunded, and the SATA cost is refunded at 98%. Stuff gives loot and I've got other things to cover in this headline. However, we've also created content with two different focuses, one on a slow drip feed of lore, and another on a repeatable and challenging quest. Unfortunately this April Fool's joke is too long so I'm just going to skip to the sponsorship to pay the rent. Staying safe online is an ever-growing difficulty and you can be exploited by hackers. Hooters VPN allows you to summon a Hooters girl in your house and protect you from hackers. A Hooters girl will protect your PP, letting you perform more cultured searching, securing your privacy, as she overlooks your PC and shields you from hackers. All possible thanks to our proprietary horny weaponoid virtualization technology. Try out Hooters VPN and use coupon code BOOBA for a 30-day bonus on checkout. Thank you very much to Hooters VPN for sponsoring this headline. Thanks to our new sponsor, Hooters VPN. We have created a unique collaboration campaign for you to enjoy. Now then, let's take a look. The Hooters VPN collaboration event has an exclusive T2 outfit. It's on the Hooters girls uniform seen throughout the Hooters restaurants. This outfit has extra bounciness, and is adorned by a Hooters inspired rabbi. You can claim the new outfit by participating in quests and scouting operations from the quest counter. Unlike seasonal events, here you'll be collecting Hooters points from any quest or scouting operation completed. The NGS Hooters girl Hinoko will be running as the elected quest counter. With the Hooters points, you'll be able to buy items directly from her alongside the new Hooters themed quests and Hinoko's presence as your navigator. There will also be a limited time urgent quest involving the Hooters restaurant chain being opened in South Elio being attacked by the dolls. This will be our second defense quest, and since the shop is set on the ocean surface itself, you'll need to master navigating the waters to defend Hooters. The event lasts three weeks, and the second week's election quest winner will become the Hooters girl for NGS on the Hooters Encyclopedia, and your character will be drawn by 92D. They are the main artist behind PSO2 Essence, so your booba will be preserved and enhanced for the preservation of the culture for our future generations. Now then, let's do our last segment for tonight. NGS Operation Report in this segment, NGS Operation Report, I, Hero RI, select your questions and feedback, and bring them to the development team and LiveOps team, and bring you their responses. Now, let's take a look at the first question. Please remove the height limit on PSO2 Global. Here is the answer I received. 
This heavily requested request to uncensored height limit is being addressed in today's patch, alongside other requests such as increased breast size, increased maximum height limit, increased thigh limit, muscle limit, etc. With today's patch, we've added the limit breaker, chest, item as a replacement item in all our current and upcoming scratch bonuses, on tier 45. Using this item will permanently increase account wide your maximum slider limit for the chest slider by 5%. Using 10 of these will grant you the maximum of 50% increased slider limit. These will always feature as the tier 45 scratch bonus item, but other limit breakers, such as maximum and minimum height, muscle size, and more, will differ based on ticket, on tier 25. Regarding minimum height, we've heard the global community's outcry, and using the new limit breaker, min height, you'll be allowed to regain the JP minimum height plus 5%. These scratch bonuses will also be tradable so that free-to-play degenerates don't feel left out, as well as making it possible to get maximum chest sliders if you have the Meseta to afford it all. That was their response. It seems that all our fetishes are being catered to, so I hope you stop complaining, pay up the scratches, and ERP in your isolated cave far far away from the rest of society. On to the second question. Where is the content? This headline was unsatisfying and it's still not enough. If even this gargantuan amount of content for an April 1st update isn't enough, then I've got one more thing to showcase, okay Popona. You are, from now on, the future host of NGS Headline. Well well well. I see you've completed PSO2, New Genesis. Unfortunately, you have one final obstacle to defeat. Do not laugh. I've got your feedback coming right up. Do not fear the power of the headline thing. Do you have what it takes to defeat me? I won't spoil the rest of the fight, so come meet me under Retem City for the duel of a lifetime. Even Phaleg is nothing compared to me. NGS Satellite Information there's still the stuff nobody pays attention to, but I promise this time. We've got legendary scale campaigns to showcase. Are you ready for what's to come? We're beginning to purchase the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim campaign with Bethesda. Buying several new copies of Skyrim from today, April 30, will give you special PSO2 NGS items. You can obtain an incredibly epic sounding music disc from the game, and for those who purchase 45 copies, a special mount with a cute Skyrim game. Next, we're releasing a limited time campaign to celebrate the release of Physique Limit Breakers. This week only, you'll be able to obtain a Limit Breaker chest by simply logging in for more than 320 hours. While this might seem impossible on a temporal basis, it's a good thing that the time fault exists. Remember, playing NGS in the time fault for a week on Earth results in a playtime of 10 weeks, so it's doable for casual players. Just keep in mind the time fault is reserved for Sega employees only, so it's a good time to become a 3D artist and work on scratch tickets for Sega. Finally, a new tagger skill, Gemini Zodiac Blood, allows you to duplicate yourself to deal double damage at no additional cost. This will be available in a new bundle for a limited time, so hurry up before it's gone. Since maintaining classes nobody wants to touch is costly, we'll be bringing new skills for unused classes and weapons for a small fee in the future, so please look forward to that. That's all for this installment of NGS Headline. We would love your feedback to improve both NGS and this program, so please give us your opinions and support via the hashtag NGS headline. Unfortunately, this headline will be the last time I show myself on camera. From now on, Popona will be the host of NGS headline, leaving me time to clap people under Retem City in my ultimate showdown battle. I hope you understand this decision. The next NGS headline is unscheduled. It's going to be hosted by Popona, so who knows when she'll suddenly start streaming an NGS headline. I heard she might use 10 limit breaker, chest, before the stream, so please look forward to that. Finally, please like and subscribe. Now then, Arcs. Popona will see you in the next NGS headline. Here on Tuesday night, I'll see you on next NGS headline. Bye bye.